guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be doing a makeup routine and I'll be completely honest with you guys. So this is like a chit chat makeup routine kind of video. And just a disclaimer, I am a beginner and I am no makeup guru nor an expert. Nevertheless, if you want to know how I came up with this look, then just keep on watching. Of course, I do have a basic knowledge that before you put on makeup, you should also put primer. So growing up, I do have strict parents, especially my dad. And he didn't really allow me to wear makeup. So there was an instance wherein I did my makeup for about an hour already. And he wanted me to remove it. And so I did. So it goes to show that I did have a hard time learning about makeup. He didn't really allow me to do my makeup on a daily basis or even when I feel like to. Like, occasionally lang talaga. But let me just share this moment with a friend of mine. Of course, my friends know that I'm really into fashion and styling clothes, but I was requesting her to do my own makeup. And then she told me that you're so into clothes and and styling them but you don't know how to fix yourself. At first, I got offended because of course, you wouldn't get offended. But it hit me with the reality that I should know how to do my own makeup. I mean, there are times that makeup becomes a necessity. Like for example, during theater plays, like when the light, oh my goodness, well, when the light is hitting on your face, well not literally, well, you get me. I don't really want to look pale in front of an audience. I don't want people to see me like as a dead person. Especially when I go through castings, I don't want to look pale and they'll judge me. Okay, so a moment of silence first. I don't know how to do my brows. But yeah, I'm one of the few people who likes it messy. My friend said that I should do the outline first and I don't know if I'm doing it the right way. Do you like just brush it up? Hey, there's like a huge difference. Okay, guys, don't judge me, please. <gasps> I think I put too much. Mm -hmm. This is like makeup experiment routine <laughs> because to be honest i just experiment most of the time i do have a little knowledge about makeup because before i didn't have the same interest as what i have now i don't know if i'm the only one who's like this but as what i have said earlier i'm really into styling clothes fashion and everything in between so when i watch get ready with me videos i usually skip the makeup tutorial part to see the final look like when the person will be dressing up already and I don't know if I'm the only one who's like that How do makeup gurus do this? Okay, so the next step is quite embarrassing for me but I told you guys, I will be honest So I do use a scotch tape <laughs> I do use a scotch tape as my guide for when I do my eyeliner I got this hack from Pinterest and it does really work for me so it will act as a guideline. Now it's time for the big reveal. Ta-da! I don't know what that will do for now. <laughs> well, I did have um, second thoughts on posting this kind of videos in my channel because I'm no makeup guru and I'm not an expert but again this is a makeup routine and not a tutorial and aside from the fact that this has been requested by some of you guys I also just wanted to put a reminder to everyone out there especially to girls that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God and you know those freckles that you're trying to get rid of with concealer you know, you have no idea how many people want that imperfection of yours. Like, just type folk freckles on YouTube and you'll see a hundred and thousands of tutorials on how to get one. And those acne scars, like acne is normal. Everyone goes through puberty and everyone has hormones. So it's pretty much normal. Although I must admit that there are times I feel down, I feel insecure with myself. But at the end, I realized that appreciating someone else's beauty doesn't mean that you don't possess such too. So if you see someone else with or without makeup, 
it wouldn't hurt to be generous with compliments and well, for some of you guys it doesn't mean anything to you at all but for some it does mean a lot especially in our society nowadays it could get really toxic and you know negativity is everywhere so be the light in this very dark world you know that's so cliche but it's true so that's about it for this look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.